so ready? one long standard sniff. Yep. Okay. What's up crew, we are back at the Black Country Barbell and today we're gonna to try and pull a proper deadlift. So if you watched the previous video, you'll have seen that I hit 190, no straps, no belts, then strapped up and belted up, but couldn't pull 200. I was a little bit tired, I was a little bit beat up from doing the new strength and conditioning training and we're working on that balance from left to right. So that could have been a factor. So I'm fresh-ish today, not a lot of sleep, but the muscles haven't been overloaded. So we're gonna see how much of an effect the drugs can take to help you lift because today we're implementing smelling salts. So you can hear we've got the music blasting. This is a good atmosphere to be deadlifting in. So this is gonna be the start of my proper deadlifting routine. We're gonna go through a full workout here on the bar. So we're gonna be working ourselves up. We're gonna see what we can pull. I'm gonna be a bit clever about my energy expenditure, but first off, we're gonna warm up. So I'm gonna get the scapula ready. I'm gonna activate the back, stretch things out, and get nice and loosey-goosey ready to do this pull. Change room so it's not to disturb everybody else by asking to have the music turned down, but so you can still hear me. So that's the warm up done. So we had some uh, recruitment of the back, kind of activating the lats, the scapula, um, that lower back. Doing that scapular retraction on the lat pull down is really good as well on chest days. That's a good one for helping you lock the back in. That's what we're trying to do. So we're trying to activate the muscles and create that um, that kind of lock down pathway. So that when we get under the bar and take the slack out that the back is all contracted and ready to explode as we drive through through the legs. Now some of you made a good comment in the comment section of the last video to do the deadlifts and that was the fact that I'm trying to fight that overarching of the lower back due to that pelvic tilt. That's what we're trying to correct in these deadlifts. That's how we're trying that's why we're going to relearn. But the, one of you guys also said that it's important to make sure that the lower back, although it's not overarched, still needs to be in an active state. So other than it just being neutral, I do actively need to think about contracting my lower back once I'm contracting the lats as well. So I'm going to be focusing on doing that today and see how that feels. What we're going to do is we're going to work our way up until we get to a point where I can't make the lift. And then we're going to crack out one of these bad boys, which is the smelling salts. Now these are basically ammonia based inhalants. Never used one before, complete smelling salt virgin. So I'm expecting this thing to either blow my head off Make me cry or make me poop. on the bar. Nipples is back, aka Jake. <laughs> is that, is that thing, From the first video you, you're known as Nipples, hashtag yeah. Nipples. Hashtag Every nipples. time he's on the screen now I want hashtag Nipples. Hashtag Hello. Nipple <laughs> and what you just saw, so just pulled that 180, no straps, no nothing, but just an over under grip. But Jake noticed. Uh, his lats were sort of like not engaging, they were engaged at the bottom and then as soon as you move the bar, they came forward, so I'm just going to work on engaging his lats a bit more, keep his upper back tighter and it'll be an easier lift. This is what you do if you are training with other people. Watch each other. Don't be on your goddamn phone sliding into DMs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm pulling it, yeah. I'm trying to. Imagine you're trying to get it out there and screw into your armpit. Really? And now I'm fucking screwing the lats in tight. I'm doing it simultaneously when you're bracing. So you get it to the 
the last thing you know, so when you pray, it's pray. Okay. Yeah, go. So a real handy hint from Jake there is uh, last thing you do, what I tend to do is I tend to get down, I'll set, I'll roll my elbows, contract my lats, then brace my core, take that deep breath into the belly. Jake says it's way better, get your hands on the bar, take that deep breath in and then as you hold down to the belly, then wrap your elbows nice and tight and, and that should help hold that brace a little better. So we'll give that a bash. We are now going to take away the limiting factor, which is my grip. So we're going to strap that up and I'm going to put a belt on just because I've done a lot of yoga and things this week. I'll be going more into that later on, but I just want to protect that lower back and make sure that I'm maximizing my efficiency and safety. So this is where the tools of the trade come into play. That 200 moved. Um, I don't know, it felt better. More leg drive, a little bit less reliance on the back to pull it through. It was a little bit, I felt a little bit of destabilization, but that's to be expected because that mechanism, that, that rear chain isn't as strong as it needs to be yet. But what we were originally gonna do was we were gonna try and fail and then hit the salts. What I've been told by the experts is, that's not what you do. What you do is when you get to a point where you feel like the bar's not gonna move on the next lift, that's when you hit the salt. So I maxed out 210. That's the heaviest I've lifted. And that was when I was doing it incorrectly with that awkward form of a bit of overarching the lower back. So we're gonna hit the salt now and we're gonna put 210 on the bar and we're gonna see if this bitch moves. And then I'll tell you how it feels afterwards. Then we'll really see if the drugs don't work. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a little bit of help from my friend to explain to you about the salts because I've never used them. Go Lou, this is one of the owners of this beautiful black country barbell. Thank you. Well, the uh, smelling salts are ammonia and it gives you that foil or floyd kind of instinct and they're to be used on special occasions if you're going for a PR, PB um, or just if you really want to hit something with a bit more intensity. It's not to be relied upon because same as everything, same as caffeine or any other kind of stimulant it wears off and you get used to it so yeah you want to keep it for those yeah. special occasions so it's if you're coming for your max and you really want to push yourself and get yourself in that zone these are going to be great for that or if like you're in trouble with the misses and you need to look like you've teared up and been crying crack one around the eyeballs guaranteed to work and probably better than rubbing deep heat under there i use it <laughs> i do that as a regular <laughs> Woo, let's go clear your nose um you you may tear up a little bit depends so obviously like I'm using straps and a belt, so do I need to what do I need to do about that? Personally, if you've got a mate like me, just get them to do it for you. So okay. you strap yourself in, I'll snap it for you, hold it in front of your face. Okay. You, you shake your head when you're done, and I'll get out of the way and then you're just gonna you're just gonna crack and with one big sniff. Yep. Genuinely nervous about <laughs> this. Genuinely. Don't don't take a massive inhale, just just a like, don't go for a short shot. You know, it'll just steady away. Yeah, because you you know you don't want to. You can you can gauge it then if you, if you start a gentle sniff and then build it up. And sometimes you may turn away and go back in for a little bit more. That's like trying to kiss me. <laughs> I am genuinely a little bit nervous. The last like, time I seen you looking like this was your wedding day, mate. <laughs> Two ten, easy, Lex. Just ten, ten more. That's all it is. Okay. So one long, standard sniff. Yep. Okay. More. Come on. Come on, get it. Yeah. 
That's fucking mental. It's an emotional time for him. Holy shit! Am I crying? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I was talking about community and feel and that's what we want to bring back through YouTube. Back to those golden era days of collabs and just inspiring people for the right fucking reasons. And luckily today, and nicely enough, we've got two guys. We have Dominic and Dan. Dan. Dominic and Dan. And they came up to me just to say hello. And they knew, started the gym about a year or so ago. Yeah. Got into it, simply managed to catch my dumb ass on YouTube, <laughs> having a bit of a ramble, and it, it stuck with them, and it's it's helped just from watching videos, your training, coming like, a bit closer, coming a bit closer. Yeah, motivation so, is the biggest, biggest thing. So your main reason for starting was to want to put weight on, yeah, yeah. develop yourself a bit more, yeah. and you put on how much? Uh, about I think about ten pounds. Ten pounds. Yeah, but that's things a bit more like water weight as well, but about ten pounds. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good weight. It's good weight, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's true. And that's from not just just chipping in with yeah, videos and yeah, have it consistent. Yeah, that's it's all good things. And how did you find? Uh, or did you search on YouTube for training, or was it just accidental? Uh, I think it's a bit of both. I looked searching for training, but I found you guys too, like Jimmy Sharp and stuff as well. That's and awesome. I found your channel. It's really motivating. So. Yeah, well, I appreciate that and yourself. Yeah, um, just. Uh, getting there. <laughs> one, one day, one day. <laughs> I was dabbling yeah. when I saw you, but I, I watched a lot of um, Face Up and you did it with uh, Face Jasper. Shout out to Jasper. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that got me really motivated and ever since then I've carried on watching you. That's cool. Um, but yeah, food wise, that's what I'm kind of trying to nail at the minute. Yeah. Getting to the gym, the motivation for that is fine, no problem at all. Yeah. But, um, Trying to lose a bit of weight. Yeah, which is always a bit. Trying to get chiselled. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. But that's what everyone wants, isn't it? It's whatever your goal is going to be. So, luckily, these guys they found a video that connected with them at the time that I put out, and that's all we can hope to do: put good shit out into the world, put a bit of positivity out there, and hope that it connects to someone at the right time. Like you said, the diet, the training. We're going to be focusing on all this to show you guys that you can be athletic, that you can achieve those weight transitions, whether it's weight loss, weight gain, but still have an active and social lifestyle. Train together. Yeah, Inspire each other, you know, keep each other going so when one of you gets lazy, the other one goes, get the fuck up and get yeah, in that gym. Back the exactly, <laughs> that's the fucking mentality. So, absolute pleasure to meet you guys. Thank, Thank you, you very mate. much Thank for you. coming yeah. up and saying hello. Cheers. Thanks for watching another episode of Undisputed. I'll catch you in the next one. If you've made it this far, give me a boom, baby, in the comments. Hit that like. And also, if you want to see something else, if you want to see me try and break me back on 215, then I'll give it a go. <laughs> Until the next one, I'll be a boom, baby, and we're out. Lately I've been doing shit different Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen Had to make a move, had to make a little distance Lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision Fuck that, tell them bounce